This is a follow on from the liquid polish experiment uh, update on what happened to the first applications and we're going to do a few more test pieces. Okay, so looking here, this is where the water glass was applied. Hang on, I'm just making a video. This is where the water glass was applied and it's continued to run in the heat. Some of it ran across here onto the stuff that was uh, the secret source and the secret source, uh, I was expecting this to look shiny but where the water glass has come over the top, it's made the frosted looking stuff completely disappear and it's given that glazed effect. So it looks like my secret source plus the sodium silicate would be the way. Um, let's have a look at the, the dried out secret source. More rocks come out. More rocks, Moo. And there's the The stuff that formed, um, we tried to form uh, some sort of sand render, but that was a fail. And now we'll go and look at uh, the tools that prepped these. Here is the diamond wheel that does the cutting. And this is a 600 grit carborundum that uh, was used to smooth off and try to remove the tooling marks from the grinder. So if we look at this face here, you can see the glints of shine that are the smoother high points. So that's the 600 grit. There's more effort spent here and we'll go over this with sodium silicate and you'll see how this will disappear. Just after viewing Ben's video on the subject of the liquid stone, I'd also been watching ClickSpring and he'd just been polishing using the, uh, uh, what is it, the, um, the shellac and alcohol, uh, French polish method. And I couldn't help thinking that some French polish type of method was what was used back in antiquity. I just had this sort of vision of it being slowly built up over time. See, what happens with the sodium silicate is it, um, it sequesters CO2 from the atmosphere and it creates a harder surface. Um, if you're using it in, in foundry work, then um, CO2 is sometimes injected into the uh, sandy mold to increase the, um, to speed up the, that, uh, that time that it takes. So what I'm going to do this time is rather than apply a thick coat, I'm going to apply several thin coats so that layer upon layer of CO2 hardened and then fresh and then CO2 hardened because here it tended to run and the running was simply a case of uh, it not having gone off yet. So here we are applying it to both surfaces and we will do this for a few days running and see what kind of surface I can build up. Um, let's have a quick overview of, uh, let's get this glove off because it's uh, sodium silicate is a little bit on the caustic side. Okay, so I wanted to poke at this glazy looking stuff here and see what it does when we uh, sort of interrupt it. Oh, it's quite glassy feeling. Am uh, I in the right spot? There we go. It's it's coming away. Um, sodium silicate is a compatible uh, material for uh, sealing concrete. Um, so I think over time this stuff would just get harder and harder and more, uh, you know, more mineralized as uh, 